First, we go to a place that does not yet exist in the desert of Abu Dhabi, Mazdar, the high-tech eco-city of the future. It's a huge experiment, and the results will be closely scrutinized. Abu Dhabi, the wealthiest of the United Arab Emirates, is growing at a rapid pace. But Sheikh Khalifa is already thinking ahead toward the future. Today, Abu Dhabi runs on oil, but the Emirate hopes to become a world leader in renewable energy with a visionary project, the EcoCity Masta. The German branch of LAVA, or Laboratory for Visionary Architecture, won the competition to design the city center. Tobias Walliser and Alexander Rieck work in LAVA's Stuttgart office, specializing in new construction methods that link high-tech, aesthetics, and sustainability. Mazdar city center will feature a convention center, a five-star hotel, and a plaza shaded by giant umbrellas. Mazda should be entirely carbon neutral and have a population of 50,000. The high-tech design incorporates traditional planning principles with green spaces, waterways, and outdoor gathering places modeled after European piazzas. Foster and Partners is the architecture firm in charge of the Mazda master plan. Foster envisioned an oval convention center here. A city like this needs a clearly defined center, but we didn't want an iconic building as we find in other cities. Instead, we took the building, the convention center, and moved it to the periphery, which gave us a free-form plaza here. What we have here is unusual for the region. It's normally too hot for this, but we made use of a few extras, like the umbrellas, which are topped with solar cells. The cells can be used to cool the plaza, but the plaza is still carbon neutral. It won't be cooled completely, but it will be cool enough so that people can gather outdoors during the summer months. From Abu Dhabi, we accompany Alexander Rieck to Mastar. It's a half hour's drive to the largest construction site in the region. The city of the future will arise here in the middle of the desert. Construction began last year, but there is little to see so far apart from fences and cranes. Rick meets with planners from Foster and Partners every few weeks. Five hundred experts from around the world are working to make the eco city a reality. The ideas are so new that the designs are still a work in progress. The challenge is bringing this know-how together. There are no absolutes, no rights and wrongs, just many possible solutions. Mastar is set to become a laboratory for the technologies of the future. This enormous solar field is where energy for the eco-city will be generated. Renewable energy with no emissions. Jürgen Hepp coordinates the massive project. Three years ago, we didn't even have a concept, let alone a master plan for the city. And now the first buildings are nearly ready. It's all come about very fast. Working on location is a big help. We can reach some decisions much more quickly. And these decisions help move the project forward. Hepp also shows us the Mastar Institute. He will be the first university in the world to specialize in renewable energy. Abu Dhabi plans to become a global leader in eco-technology research. Mastar is projected to cost $22 billion. The city of the future is scheduled to open by 2016. That's where the plaza will begin. Mazda will have no high-rises, but it will have electric cars and a magnetic rail system. The planners hope Mazda will attract scientists and international technology firms, but the high-tech enclave should also be a desirable place to live.
Bringing a vision like Mazda to life also requires people with vision who will stand behind it and make it happen. And we definitely have that here in the United Arab Emirates. Unlike other emirates in the region, Abu Dhabi has the financial resources to invest in the future. The planners hope that as the first zero pollution and zero waste city, Mazda will be a model for the region and for the world.